class, welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom. And in this particular video, we are going to yet again explore the limit definition of a derivative. But in this particular video, we are going to really focus on finding the equation of a tangent line. Okay, so let's look at the function. How about f of x equals x squared minus three? And let's imagine this uh, having a point at x equals, say, two, okay? Because when we're trying to find the equation of a tangent line, we have to find two things. One, a point. They've given us a part of that point. We'll come back to find the other part of that point. And then we need a slope. Well, we're going to start with this function that we're given here, x squared minus 3, and use the limit definition of the derivative to find that derivative, aka slope. So here we go. We have f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h. So I go to my function. Everywhere there's an x, let's replace it with x plus h. So I have x plus h squared minus 3. This is all my f of x plus h portion of my um, derivative definition. And now I will subtract off the original function, x squared minus 3. And of course, all of that will be divided by our h. Okay, at this point is just a bunch of algebra as we've seen in the past. We have f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0. We need to FOIL out our x plus h, so I'm going to have an x squared plus 2xh plus an h squared for this expanded, distributed all out. And then I still have my subtract 3. And here, let's go ahead and distribute the subtraction. So I will have subtract x squared and then add 3. And then, of course, all of that will be divided by our h. And then again, just looking at the terms that we have, we see a couple of things that we'll subtract off. We have an x squared that later subtracts off with a negative x squared, so those go away. I have a negative three plus three, those subtract off as well. So now I have f prime of x is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of two xh plus h squared, all divided by an h. And again, just like we've seen previously, I have to be clever about how I go about removing the h in the denominator. And I notice in my numerator, I've got a couple of terms that both have an h. Let's go ahead and factor out the h in my numerator so that hopefully it divides out with the one in the denominator. So I have f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches zero of h when it gets factored out. What's left now is a 2x plus an h from leftover from the h squared. And then all of that still divide by h. And now this h in my numerator divides out with the h in the denominator. So after all of that work, I still have f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches zero of 2x plus h. Now I'm ready to actually take the limit as h approaches zero. And so I imagine, like before, that that h is actually going to be a zero, such that what is returned for us in this case is just a 2x. So our final result here is f prime of x is equal to 2x. And I'm going to box this as our answer because now, or part of our answer, this is the function, in fact, it's a linear function, that will produce for us the actual slope of our equation that we're trying to find. So this is the function that produces all of the slopes for all of the x values, but we don't need all of the x values. We only want to look for when x is in fact two. So to find the slope when x is two, we simply take our derivative function here and evaluate it at two. So to do that work, we now just need to find what f prime of two actually is. So since I know f prime of x is 2x, f prime of 2 must be 2 times the 2. So that's going to mean that f prime of 2 will actually be 4. 
So let me box this because this part here now will actually be the slope value when I get to my equation of the line. And now we're gonna move over to capture the other part of the work. So now that we have found the slope is four, I now again need that second piece, which is the point for my equation. And then we'll put all the pieces together to actually write the equation of our tangent line. So since I know X is equal to two, in order to find the Y component to this point, I need to go back to my original function, which is F of X equals X squared minus three. And let's evaluate that function at two. So we have f of two equals two squared minus three. So f of two is gonna be equal to four minus three, so just one. So now we have the point two comma one for us. And I'll box this because this will be now the point that I use to generate the equation of our tangent line. And then the four that we got from the derivative and evaluating the derivative function at the two, will also be part of our equation of the tangent line, but that will be the slope part. So we go back to, well, you know, two formulas for an equation of a line, y equals mx plus b, or the point slope formula. I'm gonna use the point slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And the four will be my slope, that'll be uh, substituted in place for the m, the two here will actually be my x sub one and the y sub one will be my one that I have on that point. So I start off here with y minus y one, which is one, and that's gonna be equal to my four that I found from the derivative times x minus x sub one, which is two. And then now all I need to do is just simplify this equation so I have y minus one equals four x minus eight when I distribute the four onto both of those terms, add my one to both sides. So I end up with y equaling four x minus seven when I add my one. So it turns out now this, I'm gonna double box this because y equals four x minus seven is in fact the equation of a tangent line to the original function that we started with, x squared minus three at two, at x equals two. So I hope you enjoyed this particular video of finding the equation of a tangent line, leveraging the limit definition of a derivative to find the slope. Please click on the Advantage logo to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.